And now a partner session by Soul Machines. Good morning. Uh, uh, I'm Greg Cross, co-founder of, uh, of Soul Machines. Uh, really excited to be talking to you today, beaming in from the future. Uh, beaming in from the future. Uh, uh, when I say that, by virtue of the international dateline, I'm cu currently coming to you from Auckland, New Zealand. That makes me a Kiwi, so apologies for the funny, slightly funny accent. So um, it is Wednesday morning here. So my job today is to spend some time talking to you about some of the big things that are coming in the way in we, which we look at the future. And you've just watched a, a session about how we think about the distribution of our workers uh, in the world that we live in today, um, whether they're working from home or from the office or different parts of the world. I run my company here from New Zealand, my executive leadership team, our corporate head offices, very, very much in the United States. So this world that we live in today, as we know, is becoming increasingly more digital. We knew that was starting to happen uh, back in 2019 and in, in the pre-COVID era. We talked constantly about the fourth industrial revolution. We stopped talking about that now because we have some more important things to talk about. But the simple reality is the digital world of the future has accelerated towards us and has really, really started to shift the way in which we do business. Um, so this session is about how we think about that future, how we think about that digital future, what some of those challenges are going to be for our organizations as the underlying economics of our industry change, as more and more of our business is done digitally. So, you know, um, and, and whether that's in the digital worlds that exist today, the, the 2D digital worlds of the, the smartphones, of the flat, flat screens of, of our e-commerce stores um, that we, we all use today, or whether that's the 3D internet, the 3D worlds of the future, um, which, you know, we're all now starting to think about as the metaverse. I think, you know, we're at a, at a point now where we can start to see a continuous flow and a continuous link from where we are today into that 3D world of the future, or that increasingly 3D digital world of the future. So my job today is representing some of the amazing researchers, some of the amazing scientists in my company, um, and thinking about how we create value for business, how we can help industries re-engineer their economics and their competitive advantage as the world becomes more and more digital. So what we do as a company, um, and I'm going to throw some new terms at you now, and I'm going to hopefully explain very quickly what they are and what they mean, you know, it, 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 we deliver digital people. I'm going to show you some of those digital people that are working in real life for companies and brands today. So those digital people are CGI creations. They're incredibly realistic. But they're not just uh, 2D characters, flat characters. They have digital skin. They have digital muscles. They can express emotion. They can interact. They can use their hands to gesture, interact, and, and um, communicate with you in real time. So we are a company that creates astonishing digital people. It, from synthetic digital people of different ethnicities, age, genders, all the way through to digital celebrities um, like Will I Am, uh, Camelo Anthony from the NBA, and, and a whole host of other ones that we're working on at the moment. Dig synthetic digital people, digital twins. We bring those digital people to life using the most advanced animation technology known today. We are experts in cognitive modeling. We are experts in humanizing artificial intelligence. Our core technology is based on the concept of having created a digital brain 
which enables CGI characters, digital people, digital humans, avatars, to be brought to life in the same way that we humans, you and I, are being brought to life interactively at this moment in time. And we're being brought to life by our brain. It's our brain that enables us to see, to hear, to feel, to react, to express emotion, um, and to behave in a certain way, in a certain context, at a certain time. So um, what we've created is an autonomous animation platform. It's cloud-based. It renders our digital people in the crowd, in the cloud, and they see, act, respond, and behave using their digital brain. So this is a really, really important concept in terms of the way in which CGI characters, digital people, um, become a digital workforce for us. So, you know, and when I talk about a digital workforce in this context, I'm talking about digital people that can increasingly work for your organization, represent your brand, deliver customer experiences in a digital world, whether that's your e-commerce store or your smartphone app or your, your augmented reality uh, retail store of the future, Autonomous animation is the way in which we bring these digital people to life. They speak different languages. Uh, they can interact and, and be responsible for different roles in your organization. And you'll get a view of that um, as we move forward this presentation and you see some of uh, uh, our real live digital people interacting today. So digital people and autonomous animation, a digital workforce, you know, where should you be thinking about that? How does that create value for your organization as you start to think about this shift that we're going through at the moment, which is increasingly digital? So one of the things about a digital world is increasingly that digital world is becoming a transactional world, the way in which we buy things, the way in which we find information, the way in which we interact with each other is increasingly being enabled by digital platforms, whether that's e-commerce, whether it's our banking apps. The world is more transactional. Now, the, that's a good thing because transactions are efficient, they're cost effective, um, and um, you know they become the table stakes for being able to compete in the new world. So being great at digital transactions is the first step if, if you want to compete and survive moving forward. But beyond that, you've got to start to think about how you create customer experience how you create customer connections as you move forward in, into this new world. You know, for most of us, for most of our brands, you know, for most of us as organizations, one of the biggest assets that we have is our brand, the values that we have associated with our products and our services, the value that we have associated with the experiences that we create, for our consumers wherever and whenever they touch us. So this is a really, really important next step into this world. And we call this, we refer to this as the world of empathetic customer experience, the way in which you connect with your brands, your brand with your consumers in a digital, in a digital world. Because in a, in a transactional world, um, that's a path, you know, yes, table stakes, but it's a path ultimately to commoditization. So the challenge we all face now is how do we connect our brand to consumers when increasingly the experience is online? So I'm going to get um, the guys in the control room to play a short video now, which will introduce you to um, one of our digital people interacting in, in the world today. If you could play the video now, guys. Hey there. I'm Ruth, the Nestle Toll House Cookie Coach. Soul Machines has built the world's first digital brain. 
It enables human-like face-to-face interactions that are personal, empathetic, and interactive in exactly the same way that our human brain animates us and brings us to life when we interact with each other. So what's important about this human operating system is it providing a connection between artificial intelligence and people, but even more importantly, it's creating this connection between people and artificial intelligence. So as we explore the potential for this, people can put this technology to work in a way that redefines their business, redefines what is possible. Soul Machine's digital people provide a safe and engaging way to connect brands and customers. We are creating mind-blowing experiences like Ruth, Nestle's Cookie Coach, a global CPG skincare advisor, WHO's Florence Healthcare Expert, and entertainment twins like Will I Am and more. And we're moving into an era where we're going to spend more and more of our time interacting with artificial intelligence, with uh, robots and other forms of automated machinery. And wouldn't all of those machines be more useful to us as humans if they were more like us? Cool. So what you've seen in, in the video is you've seen a number of our digital people who are deployed in real life today, working for big brands. So you saw Ruth, the digital cookie coach, with, uh, who represents the Toll House baking brand, for, which is one of the Nestle stables of, of companies. So, um, you know, so if I take Ruth as an example, she is a digital person. She's being hosted in the cloud. Uh, her knowledge base and of, of information uh, about the Toll House brand and how to be a cookie coach is being provided by a natural language processing engine. Um, and people all over the world can literally find Ruth at, you know, via the Toll House cookie website, the Toll House brand website, and then they can go and literally bake chocolate chippy cookies with Ruth. Um, uh, and so this is a great example of how a digital person, in this case, a digital brand influencer for, uh, for Nestle can create these personal one-on-one -on -one interactions in a completely digital world. And, and we're able to do that you know, together, Nestle and Soul Machines. We're able to do that um, because we can uh, deliver that experience at scale from the cloud. Digital people are available 24 by seven. We can deliver 5,000 sessions of interactions with Ruth, Ruth at once or 500,000 sessions of interactions with Ruth at a single time. So it's infinitely scalable. They learn from every single interaction and they are permanent. So as long as you want them uh, to be your brand influencer and your brand representative, they're always going to be there and, and be available. And what we've seen from these interactions, there are many things that people absolutely love about talking to digital people. There is no judgment. Um, and this is a really, really important thing. And many use cases and applications and industries, people fear being judged. You know, one of the things that's a real taboo subject for most people, we don't like talking about money. So we do a lot of work with big banks um, and helping them uh, create digital bankers to um, enable uh, clients not to feel embarrassed or judged when they have money problems or whether, when they're applying for a mortgage. So, you know, healthcare, another huge area of application for digital people, you know, and, you know, the healthcare sector and the education sector are really great uh, illustrations of the potential for the future. We know we don't train enough doctors, enough healthcare workers, enough teachers for our kids today. So we, we've always, you know, for, for, for decades suffered from shortages in these industries. So digital people can become the way in which we think about um, providing education, providing more equality in education, uh, more access to education and healthcare in a whole, you know, pretty much anywhere at any time. And, and we're doing groundbreaking work today. This is not just stuff of the future. This is groundbreaking work that has been going on with organizations like 
the World Health Organization and helping out with their COVID-19 response around fake news and, and increasingly tobacco or smoking sensation. This is work that's going on in the education sector with Maryville University and uh, just outside of St. Louis, you know, where they're one of the fastest growing digital campuses. You know, every single one of their students on their real campus has access to a student advisor. Every one of their students on their digital campus has access to a digital student advisor. So we're starting to reimagine the way in which this world can evolve and can develop. And for you, you start to think about how you create you know, what I talked about before, that digital workforce. Not, perhaps not just a single brand influencer. Um, you know, shouldn't your customers have a choice about who they want to interact with? Uh, uh, um, somebody who is the same age of them, somebody who is the same ethnicity as they are. Uh, they might prefer to speak to your brand or interact with your brand in Mandarin or, or Spanish rather than English. So these are all ways in which you can create this future of customer experience, the ways in which you can create empathetic customer experience in an incredibly scalable and affordable way. Now, all of this is happening against the backdrop of constant change. So if we look at the way in which we connect with our customers today, we are using um, existing digital channels, search um, and AdWords. We're using social media. We're using um, video content as a way to, you know, um, reach out and touch our consumers today. But we also know the dynamics of that marketing paradigm is starting to shift. We're moving into a cookie-less marketing world. We're moving into a world where um, buying advertising based on personal data from one of you know from social media, for example, you know, is going to get more challenging um, uh, and possibly may be regulated in the future. So looking at you know how each and every one of us can create empathetic customer experiences, customer experiences in the way in which you can uh, uh, see, respond, interact in real time and continuously improve the customer experience as we move forward into the, into the future. So these are some of the many, many ways in which we need to think about the role that a digital people, the role that a digital workforce might play for us in our industry and the way we uh, think about interacting with our customers uh, going forward. Again, you know, our, these digital people are available 24 by 7. Uh, they are infinitely scalable. They are permanent employees. They can be expanded upon. You can create uh, literally uh, a whole digital workforce in terms of the way that we think about the future. And as we roll forward into the metaverse um, and, and, and into creating 3D versions of the way in which our customers can interact with us. So, you know, imagine taking your e-commerce store and, and turning it into a virtual experiential augmented reality environment. You know, having a digital person that can walk around in that digital world with you, can interact with you, can show you um, the digital versions of your product, um, you know, if that's clothing, can, can show it to you, um, can talk about it to you in a, in a way which is relevant, which is personal, which, you know, directly relates to your needs. So being able to move, you know, from the 2D world that we're in today, the 2D digital world that we're in today to this 3D digital world of the future. Digital worlds of the future are going to need autonomously animated digital people. They are going to need digital workers that can re represent your brand and interact for you in, uh, you know, in this digital world um, so that you can conduct business globally. You can conduct business 24 by 7, and you can build you know, an incredible competitive, sustainable competitive advantage as you look at the way in which your industry is going to shift, the way in which the economics of your industry are going to shift. And most importantly, 
you know, the way in which you are going to differentiate your brand, your products and your services and create those incredibly important connections in a world which, as I said, going right back to the start, has become increasingly transactional. So um, I'm just about out of time here. I hope that I've got across some of my key points. Would love to talk to you some more in the future if uh, you want to follow up with me or anyone, any members of my team. Thank you.